want people to take you seriously, want more people to patronize your business, buy your book or product, then all you got to do is understand this one principle. And that is this, actions speak louder than words. What's up, guys? This is Doc Favors here. And I want to welcome you all back to Essential Coaching. As always, you all know that we're here to help you create that life of freedom. And we do that through mindset and business coaching. So got a lot of new exciting things for you. First of all, you all know what we do. Let's give it up for all the new subscribers who joining the tribe, guys. Hey, listen, we all got the same goal in mind. We're trying to get to the same destination. And I definitely want to thank all the new subscribers, the new family members who join in the tribe, okay? So with that being said, guys, let's talk about this topic today. Action speaks louder than words. Now, we've heard this saying many a times. We heard this cliche often a lot of times. But really, have you thought about really what does that mean? People say action speaks louder than words. Well, at first, I want you to understand that according to some scientists, they say that 85 to 90 percent of what you're saying isn't just coming out of your mouth. It's coming out through your body language, right? It's coming out through the energy and the, the look on your face. It's coming out through nonverbal cues. And that's very important to understand because uh, I could really go deep on this too, guys, but I want you to think about something. If you have a conscious mind and you have a subconscious mind, and then of course you have a body and you know you get the results. You know, y'all know the, the stick person. I got a video somewhere around here with that. But I want you to understand something. If your conscious mind shares information with how you're talking or you know your gestures and things of that nature, have you ever thought the thought about what what is the subconscious mind? What is the undercurrent? Watch. You all ever seen someone that says, hey, man, or you ever encountered someone that was talking a certain way, but you sensed they had an angle, you sensed they was trying to produce something else? Guys, I just taught a sales course, and one of the things that I was sharing with the clients is this, man, is that when you talk and say something with your verbal, right, with your conscious mind, you are still sending off a lower level frequency of energy. So if you talking about engaging someone to get them to buy your product, for example, with the coaches I coach, right? You can't be thinking about your bills. You can't be thinking about, oh, I got to make the sale. I got to make the sale. Because it's really about the other person that you're dealing with. And that's just a little piece right there for you coaches. So think about that. When I say actions speak louder than words, if you want people to take you seriously, you really want your business to grow, you really want to get some better results in your life, you've got to commit to action. Now, here's something about that. We say around here at the Essential Leaders Institute that we anchor our decisions in action. Well, what does that mean? When, when you think about it, guys, and you make a decision, irrevocable, committed decision, it is very important that you understand that certain things have to happen right now. So when we say anchor your decisions in action, I'm really saying every decision you make, put some action to it right now. And if you're wondering how to do that, I'm going to tell you right now how to do that because this is important. Let's say you want to lose 10 pounds. Okay, I'm, I'm on a roll now. Since my last weigh-in, guys, I started this journey at 298 back in, I say, November. And my last weigh in just yesterday, I was 268. Okay. So I've lost well over, th well, I've lost right around 30, 30 pounds. So let's just say, for example, you want to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. Then what you want to do is make the committed decision, irrevocable. I'm going to release this weight. First of all, you got to change the language because if you lose something, your psycho cybernetic system is automatically want to go and find it. All right. But if you release it, that means you give it permission to go and never return. Then you get a different vi vibration. You're already on a different frequency, okay? And uh, some of you all will catch that. Some of you won't, but it's all right. Work for me. Man, the law of manifestation is really serious. Law of vibration is serious. So anyway, you release the weight. And what you do is you write down three to five things that you can do immediately. Let me give you a tip. Ten pounds. 10 pounds in 30 days, you can do that easy. And all you got to do is this right here. Number one, I'm going to give you all some of the things that I did. And this is about taking action, right? Action. Number one, I eat and I do intermittent fasting. So I don't, my first meal is actually brunch. I don't do breakfast anymore. I do brunch. So I eat my first meal at 11. Then I eat a small snack 
small bottle of yogurt and a, maybe a red apple at three o'clock. And then at six, seven-ish, I eat a salad with a small six ounce portion of meat or fish. And I do that for three days. So number one, take action. Do intermittent fasting. Let your last meal, caterpillar kind of right, kind of like this, when the sun come up and the sun go down, you got time in those windows to eat. But that's what I figure out. Uh, I change my eating habits. So action step number one, immediately change your eating habits. Number two, if you really want to be aggressive, I had, um, this is something else that I did. I went three days with eating 1,800 or less calories, okay? And then on the weekends, I would allow myself one cheat day. Now, hear me now. I eat anything I want. I just do it in moderation, and I have a cheat day. But other days... I'm, I'm, I'm hitting those calories. So I actually use lean cuisine. Uh, they're about 260, 280 calories. My biggest meal is always brunch. And then that other meal is like that and under those calories. So number one, uh, change the, the frequency in the window you're eating. Number two, right now, make up your mind you're going to do it and then implement those few things. And then, of course, a light, brisk walk, five to ten minutes a day. Don't take a whole lot of exercise. If you really want to do it, the real key to lose weight, guys, is getting your eating habits under control. Once you get the eating habits and find out what's going to boost your metabolism, then it happens. All right. It happens very quickly. So what did I just give you all? Number one, change your eating habit three days uh, on and each have a cheat day, intermittent fasting. And then I made up my mind. Now, here's another tip for you. Something that I did. I went and bought a clove that was two sizes smaller. Watch this. This is called muscle memory. So if when I first started this, I was in a 3X shirt. So I went and bought a 2X. Tight, uncomfortable, but I was training my body, uh, going through manifestation, and, uh, and I'll get to that one. And then when I hit that next, that first goal of 280, I wore it again, and I hit 260, I mean 285. No, 275, I went and bought an extra large, Right? Now I'm down to 268. I went and bought a large. I even bought a, uh, a pair of 34 jeans, y'all. Uh, and more 34, 34 jeans since I was in high school. But anyway, and um, just amazing piece. So that's what. I gave you all four tips, three, four. And the last one is this, your declaration, your statement that you can do right now. All five of these steps right now. Actions speak louder than words, guys. I am so happy and grateful now that I'm lighter, leaner, looking good, and feeling great. I set an alarm to 8 a.m., 12 noon, and 4 p.m., and every time that alarm went off on my phone or goes off on my phone, I say that affirmation. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm lighter, leaner, looking good, and feeling great. I tell you guys, if you would do those things and put action to it, then you can do whatever. So if you are in, in health and wellness and you lose losing weight and you give somebody a piece like I just did and actually show you the results of what I got, that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm just going to tell you right now, it works. So people will take you seriously. People will patronize your business. And at the end of the day, guys, results, the numbers matter. You know, if you really want to get those results and really want to change your life in whatever you're doing, then do the same thing. Write down, make, first of all, make a good decision, irrevocable, committed decision, and then write down three to five things that you can start doing immediately. That's how action speaks louder than words. And when people see that, People want results, and if you know how to get results, you can help them. So for those of you who are here, uh, I, once again, I thank you all for rocking out with your boy. I didn't mean to go this long. I guess this is about weight loss. I could change the topic, but I think it's be fitting. It's the new year. People got weight loss goals. So if you got weight loss goals, uh, drop drop, drop, um, drop an emoji. Just drop a comment down below, weight loss, and we're going to do it together. And uh, maybe I'll start doing some more videos and sharing you all my cooking regimen, my, uh, you know, how I eat, how I prepare my vegetables and stuff like that. And we can just have a little fun with it. That being said, it's Doc Favors, you all. Hey, be positive on purpose and have fun doing it. We'll see you next time.